let's see what we can do with these tiles in this strategy theory session. When you organize your tiles, if you hold your control key down, shift key, it'll move the tile to the opposite rack real quick. Speed is of the essence because you have two minutes to figure out what you're going to do. All right, we've got lots of bands and dots. We have, okay, so we have a pair of sixes with cracks, three, six, seven, red, white, north, and east. Pair of ones, two, three, four, five, pair of five in bands, and then a seven. And then with our dots, we have one, two, pair of four, five, six, seven, nine. I wonder if we could play the one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand. Maybe. Let's see. One, three, five, seven, nine, and two suits with pairs of ones and nines. So that leaves us with these tiles on top. You always want to try to play a big hand with one of your hands. And then for the other option, maybe two, four, six, eight. Let's let the wind go. So I think maybe we could play the pair hand, second from the bottom under singles and pairs, and then something consecutive or two, four, six, eight if we get eights. There's an eight. Now I would not play another pair hand in this case because we've got two, four, six, eight primarily. One dot. And we have multiples. The two, four, six, Red eight numbers point. in that pair hand are singles. We do have four, six. We could maybe Red play point. a mixed suit consecutive hand. Four, Red five, point. six, second hand down on the right. We have a lot of discards, though. So there's that hand. Oops. Four, five, six. So when I have this many discards, I come up with a plan B. So let's hold two, four, six, eight. So there's two, four, six, eight. We can hold even the two bam, four bam. And then I would probably go ahead and let these tiles go here. So four, five, six, or two, four, six, eight. The thing about the two, four, six, eight Nine, situation eight. is they're not really gelling very well at the moment. Let's let the three go. Three characters. So here's two, four, eight. We have two, four, six, eight. If we put this over here, two, four, six, eight. We have a pair of flowers. So there are three hands that use flowers. We m might be able to do oh, multiplication. Here. Oh, there's a keeper though. If we did the multiplication <laughs> four, six, two, four, we actually have the tiles right here. Four, six, two, four. Four, six, two, four. Nine, nine. Let's just keep the five bams and see what happens. These down here are concealed. One of our tiles is out right now. Okay, we have a pair now with an eight. Let's let the red dragon go. Red dragon. So we're in between, I think, two, four, six, eight in one suit or the two, four, six, eight multiplication oh. hand. We could probably let this eight go. Four characters. There's another eight. Now I would I would modify my plan. Because eight now we eight. have a pung. A pung of eights. And we have no gaps for the first hand, well which is a one suit hand. We're one away from set on that. There's a three. It is odd. Ah. Maybe we should just go ahead and keep these down here for now. So let's focus on two, four, six, eight, one suit. We'll let the two go. Let's see. One, two, four. Let's let, let's actually give up on the pair hand because oh down God. here we can play one, three, five or one through five, the first hand. It's funny oh because 
if you play evens in one hand and odd in another, and you gather, 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 you can switch to consecutive run just by dropping tiles in to fill gaps. So we were playing two, four, six, eight Green in mixed territory. suits, and we changed it to one suit and used the offsuit tiles to fill in the gaps for an odd hand, and now we have consecutive tiles. I remember I was playing a game and I actually had a ready hand and didn't even realize Wrong it character. until that epiphany came. Oh, so here we go. We have a keeper now. Three if we get a flower, we might even be able to make a pure hand out of this right here. Pure hand would double the value. And if you're not playing a pair hand and you can push for a pure hand, it's the same value as a pair hand, sometimes even more if it's a concealed hand. For example, if you played the odd concealed hand, that's a 35 point hand, but pure would be a 70 point hand. That's higher than any of the 50 point hands in the singles and pair category. So consider pushing for pure. There's a flower and now we can use this down here and I certainly would not play that pair hand. We even discarded a five dot, I think, and a three dot. So, yeah, we're going to let, let this go. And here, we're set on this hand. We could Pung and Kong and, and be ready. There's another flower, or joker, flower. All right, so let's let the dragon go. White dragon. So we're ready to Pung Kong with the 2468 hand, hopefully pure. And we could Pung and Kong the consecutive hand, too. And we are in the middle game, really the beginning of the middle game. We have five discards. That's not too bad. One bamboo. That is a pair for this hand. One dot. Let's put these up here. I like to kind of differentiate the discards since they're dots up here. We have a pair of bams. It, it's easier to see what is ready to go. And you won't accidentally discard a tile you need. Four crack we don't need. It's out. Four characters. So the only weakness we have in this hand is our two bam. That is going to be a single tile, or a pair, actually. We have a single now, so we need to make that a pair. I believe you get one minute, I think you get one minute between hand, uh, between picks. So if you pick a tile, you get a minute to figure out what you're doing. And then you just have to discard or the game will discard for you. In the beginning, when you first get your tiles, you get two minutes. So they have nine seconds left. Two characters. Okay, so there we go. Oh, we got a keeper. So now this hand Seven is dots. one away one away from ready on a two bam so we still have some some weakness there but it's close enough to ready that i'm not concerned unless they kong a two bam which i wouldn't kong. know because i'm not going to discard a two bam Fine. i'm going to use it but for all we know they could have two, a two bam we don't have to do pure. Another thing we could do is maybe try to double Mahjong, and we would get double value for both hands. Two characters. There's another Joker. Seven bamboos. All right, so let's see. This hand is ready to win now on a two bam. North wind. There's the two bam. So Seven we could bamboos. maybe make one of these hands pure. One of these might be able to be pure. We have too many jokers, I think, to 
have both pure. I think I would make one pure and one using the jokers. Four dots. Okay, that's a pair for us, so we're okay there. We do have a winning Down hand, three. but I want to try to make it pure if possible. We're still in the middle game, so we have time. But once you, once you get into that end game, your opponent can declare double mahjong and you'll get no value. So timing is critical and situational awareness is just as critical. So we need to watch the tiles. I think for the, let's see, we need one, two, three tiles, two tiles to get ready for both hands. So we'll just watch the wall. Once we get into the end game, I think I should discard or Two characters. I should um, declare one of these. Nine dots. White dragon. One character. I was just thinking if we get a green, green dragon, we might be able to play. Oh, there we go. There's there's a flower now. Okay, no, so we're we're getting ready up here. I'm still win. hoping to. Okay, now we have a joker. No, so not. what I would do is double mahjong right now. So instead of pushing for pure, we're gonna right, right we're gonna there. try to double mahjong. And that'll give us double value for both hands. Seven so characters. we'll still get good value. We're ready to win on 3-bam, 4-bam, 5-bam, 6 or 8 dot. Oh. Any one of those tiles and we'll win. Double Mahjong. 5 dot. 8 bamboos. Now they're in cracks. One suit up there. So we have no fear with our, our suits here, unless their other hand, of course, is most likely going to be Red in one of these suits. So we may have competition for tiles. Five dot. We have our single two, two dot. We're good there. That's a fresh two tile, dot. though. Okay. Green dragon. Nine bamboo. That is already out. West wind. Three dot. One of four tiles. One of four tiles. And we'll have a double mash on. This this game puts me on the edge of my seat every time. We're Red we're in the end game now. Three dot. Green dragon. Green We're dragon. at least getting safe discards. Six dot. There we go. So we'll set this up for double mahjong. There we go. Mahjong. So double mahjong, and they had bands. So this was not going to be pure. Oh, and they do have our six eight over there. So here we have the first two four six eight hand, and we have one through five consecutive run. We're working on two suits, which is nice. This would be a, a divergent approach. Two hands that don't use the same tiles. Over here, they have the same thing going on. They're, it looks like they were between consecutive run three, four, five, sixes. It looks like is what they're doing. Single pair pung kong, six hand down. But they might have been able to play two, four, six, eight 
uh, and on top they have six, seven, eight, and that hand is that's that hand was ready to win on a six crack. I would have discarded it too. So they were close on their first hand, and they were also divergent. They had two suits, although I think they could have been playing two, four, six, eight because did you see that delay? they were really rearranging their tiles. So I think they were between 2, 4, 6, 8 and consecutive, and they switched. Now they have really uh, an odd with their 7 crack and odds with 2, 5. So there was some kind of a switch that happened, but I think they were playing 2, 4, 6, 8 before they switched to this here. And it might have been because of the dragons. I'm not sure. That would be interesting to see this one played out in this hand. So here, double Mahjong. We were trying to push for pure, but double Mahjong doubles the value of those hands. So there's good value there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.